Zoe Rousseau was a bright young woman living in, the, in 19th century France who has always dreamed of becoming a great stage magician, a position never championed by a woman before. One day, Zoe is given the opportunity to become Pierre the Grand's assistant with the promise she may someday perform tricks on Pierre's stage if she works hard enough. Unsure of what to do, Pierre gives her a train ticket for Munich leaving the next morning, accompanied by his son Simon and his first assistant Leo. Will Zoe leave, behind to leave everything behind to become his assistant and travel the world, or will she stay behind in her small Parisian village? Your duties as my assistant start now. Interior, train, day. I didn't think you'd make it on the car. They're long, I'll play bad, all bad. It isn't exactly the job I bargained for. I haven't got a showgirl's body. Spindly legs, callous hands. Tree of nails, split ends. Hey, I know I've got a lot of work ahead of me, but it's all going to be worth it. Bring the trousers, socks, and furs, and all the laundry life. Pop the dress and set the robe. Smile and smile and wave the pose. Leave the crowd in rock the plaza. <laughs> if you think you're so bad in line of work, why don't you just get off the train? Because you know every day is submission when you got ambition. It takes more than wishing to be. Become a great magician Every day's a mission When you've got ambition It takes more than wishing To become a great magician Berlin! Next stop is Berlin! I'm a punching bag I'm made a secretary Underpaid Rabbit wrangler Duck collector Rope tangler Edges straight Tell myself remember That you can't afford to shed a tear Practice calming Starting though I'm only starting I could sit there wishing But I'd rather be positioned On the road to stardom Though I'm only starting It takes more than wishing To become a great magician Next stop, Budapest All passengers for Budapest Please exit the train Interior, train car, night Zoe puts a hand against the window As snow falls steadily So the lowly reporting for duty, spinning, beginning to run off the rails. No time for lonely or stressed out or moody, with eyes on the prize, on the golden holy grail. Vienna, next stop, Vienna. When my heart is in my hands and their work to the bone, and nobody's waiting for me to come home, nobody's watching the hill out the window to see me return with the crown as the hero. crew members and other magicians dance the night away in celebration of Pierre's last night in Prague. The drinks flow as a winter storm builds outside. Zoe, Leo, and Simon sit together at the bar. Simon cleans up in a tux while Leo dresses to the nines and Zoe to the sixes. Leo <laughs> takes a puff of his cigar. And 
That's why you should never take a bite from a shoe cobbler. <laughs> they are. Interior, private room, continuous. Zoe wiggles between dancers until she reaches Pierre. He sits at a table with three empty glasses and he sips from a fork. Zoe! Looking lovely as ever! Thank you. Uh, so Pierre, I was hoping that we could talk about something. This is a business meeting, Zoe. Relax. Uh, relax really isn't in my vocabulary. So I've noticed. Anyway, what I wanted to talk to you about was, well, if you wouldn't mind, I, I, I think I could... Spit it out. I'm ready to perform in your act. <laughs> I've worked really hard, and I know I'm ready. I've been practicing all my tricks, and you said that when I practice enough that I can go on stage with you, and I, I can perform with you. Zay! You are never going to be a magician. What? <sighs> At least... Not under me. But you said that if okay, I... Is this about fame, money? Say the word and Leo is gone. I could bump you up to first assistant like that. No, how could you even think Fine. that I would... The fact of the matter is, no one wants to see a woman running the show. The world just isn't ready. But there are other ways of moving up. Ugh, oh, you're a monster. Do you think because you work for me, you deserve congratulations, great Pierre's assistant, what a chore. Your ticket on that train was a favor in itself. I don't owe you a thing. Wake up. You can take as a fact you'll be banished from this business if you so much as ask me this again. Ooh, but that's not fair. I've worked really hard. Now oh, shut your stupid lips, sweetie. Don't look so surprised. I will see you on stage. Good night. Zoe storms across the dance hall. Interior, housing quarters, night. Zoe walks into her room and sits down in front of her mirror. She wipes away her red lipstick with the back of her hand. In the corner of her room, she notices a poster for Pierre the Grand. She then whips out a pair of scissors, a needle, and thread, and starts to cut into a black satin garment. Interior, palatial theater, night. The crowd starts to pour into the auditorium. Leo paces backstage. He notices Simon walking towards him. Anything? Look, I don't know what Pierre said, but it clearly upset her, and... I just don't know where she is. Is she here? No. Good riddance. Interior, theater, night. The lights dim as the show begins. The curtain opens to reveal Pierre, front and center. Welcome ladies and gents, what you see may shock the bravest of you. Know that you can never trust your eyes. Pierre opens his cape as Leo rolls on the props. As the table comes into light, he freezes on spot. What now? The things are missing. What did you do with them? They're all there, I swear. Fine. Stop this. Okay. For this illusion, I'll need a special volunteer. How about something sweet like me? The man makes his way to the main stage. He wears a three-piece suit and top hat. Oh, well, actually, sir, this illusion requires a lovely lady. <clears throat> One with a preference for roses. I like roses. <laughs> oh, all right, then. My good sir, if you could just hold this bouquet. Zoe takes the bouquet. As Pierre waves to the audience, she vanishes it herself. Pierre does a double take. Where's the bouquet? Zoe twirls her arms, magically reproducing the bouquet out of thin air. Zoe, what are you doing here? Don't you think three's a crowd? Wouldn't it be so convenient if just one of us would vanish in thin air? Get off my stage! Leo proudly unfolds a length of fabric and covers Pierre with it. Zoe taps the fabric a few times, picks it up, and poof. Pierre is gone. That's better. <laughs> Interior, backstage, continuous. Simon walks by the wings and sees Zoe on stage. Audience member offers his golden watch. What a pretty thing! 
Leo places a cloth over the object and smashes it with a hammer. Check your pocket! The man reaches into his pocket. The spotlight swings over to him, revealing the restored watch in his hand. And now for our next trick! Leo lies on the table in the center of the stage. Zoe skips to the back and picks up a large hoop, swinging it around. She twirls her fingers over Leo, whose body begins to levitate. As Leo suspends in midair, Zoe passes the hoop through him. When Leo's feet touch back on the ground, Zoe motions for him to step inside. Now watch this! Zoe spins around, her tuxedo transforming into a glittering ball gown. She whips, out a whip, she whips out her bobby pin, revealing a head of flowing curly hair. The audience roars with applause. It has been my honor and my pleasure To throw away the curtain and come through I have stood behind your so beloved mastermind But now let's give credit where it's Someone getting proven right. I'm Zoe Russo. See you next time. As the curtain drops, Mar Marguerite races up to Zoe. Zoe, that was spectacular. <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> How dare you? Pierre! What a show! Your girl was fantastic! Jean Robert Houdon, the father of modern magic, steps out from the wings. See Houdon! I didn't know you'd be here. Oh, I would never miss an opportunity to see Pierre the Grand perform. Little did I know what a performance it would be. You have a real protege on your hands here. Yes, the spectacular Zoe indeed. I would love to see some more of you, Zoe. When will you be performing for Pierre next? I believe we can arrange something for London next week. What say you, girl? Oh, thank you, but I think I'll be fine on my own. Oh, well, if you won't be with Pierre, then... You know what would be just splendid? A competition! Pardon? What? Yes, a magician competition! The young female apprentice versus the seasoned mechanist Marvel! Europe would just eat it up! Zoe takes her top hat and places it smack back on her head. She tips it forward and reaches her hand out. You don't 